What is up boys? We are back on the channel. We are back from our big trip up to Seattle. That two week trip we did for the big scooter ride out, of course, ferry to ferry that we do every year. We rode some pretty cool stuff if you didn't watch the last couple videos. So we rode a runner, we rode a Zook, all that. Also, within the last couple weeks, giveaway has ended. We had the vertical Minarelli giveaway going with a pre-bug engine, stage 670cc Sport Pro cylinder on there, stage six intake, you know, all the bits right here for a full complete bottom top end stunt build engine right there. We were doing a giveaway on that. It ended last night at midnight. We haven't announced the winner yet. We're gonna be doing a little live stream here on the Mop Boys Instagram. So you'll probably see at the end of the video who the actual winner was because I probably won't be posting this video until after we announce the winner. So uh, you will see that. Thank you guys for everyone who entered. I'm very glad that we can do something like this and I hope to do it again soon. Uh, hopefully with a bike or something like that. But the engine worked out perfectly because it can include international people as well. Whereas a bike with customs and importing and stuff like that, it's it's too much of a legal thing to bring a bike over there. Uh, it made me really recognize how many Mop Boys are actually overseas. Whereas I, almost half of the orders were actual international orders. So it's gonna be very interesting to see where this motor ends up. That brings us to the point of the beginning of this video right now is we gotta get this thing fired up for the first time. We're not gonna send it out to someone without knowing it's running and dialed. So uh, we're gonna do the break-in process ourselves here. That way when the person gets it, they can get ready to ripping this thing around and stunting. So um, we got the engine. We did everything previously. You know, we checked the squish on it. We did an air leak down test. The motor is dialed, it's ready to go in. Since we didn't leave this bike up in Oregon like we planned on it, we're gonna be using the latest stunt build chassis real quick to swap this motor in and get it running. So this is already the exact same setup in this bike as this engine right here but we gotta get this thing broken in and we gotta make sure it's tuned and dialed. Um, the tune may be off to whoever gets this, obviously, because where you live, different elevations, different air densities, um, the carb tuning may be off. We're gonna make sure the engine's at least dialed and rideable. Of course, I'm gonna help whoever gets it uh, tune it, but we're gonna try to tune it for them and get it to the point where it's almost just a plug and play setup. So um, that's just what we're gonna do. We gotta get this motor out of this bike. So I'm gonna start stripping this bike down. Now we are going over the top with stripping this bike down, but it's simply because there was an issue before I went on the trip with this exact bike that was almost acting as a ground issue. Uh, so I wanted to pull not only the stuff off the engine, but all the plastics off so I can examine the wire harness on this bike. So that's why we got it stripped down like this, but we unbolted everything. We got the motor sitting there on the stand. This is the motor that we had previously in here, and here is the fresh giveaway engine that we're gonna be firing up and dialing in for it to be chosen for a winner. So both of these vertical Minarelli engines are stage six sport pros and they have pretty identical setups everywhere else. We got the giveaway engine sitting on the stand ready to drop the chassis onto the engine. I usually don't do the motor swaps like this, but it actually worked out pretty well and pretty easy to do by yourself. So we did that using our stage six paddock stand and then slapped everything back on the wheel, the pipe, plugged everything in and got this thing ready to fire up. Let's see now if this thing fires up because everything is plugged in. Everything should be good to go right now. Um, pretty straightforward, obviously. We uh, slapped the pipe onto here from the other bike. I'm gonna be setting this bike up for a Yasuni R. Here goes nothing, boys. Let's see. Oh, wow. That thing fired right up. Oh, yeah, that thing fired right up. It is time. We got the motor swapped into here, the giveaway engine, and we got it fired up. I've ran this thing probably about five times now. Let it get hot, let it cool down, kind of breaking in the motor. And we are about to do the first ride on it now. I have not tuned it yet, so we will see right now how far off the tuning is. But I kind of set it up to the motor I built last time, so it should be pretty close. All right, boys, I'm excited to give this thing a try right now. So just had to remember to tighten the brake. That's always a bad time when you throw on a, a wheel and you forget to tighten the brake. It... Need a bigger shop, man. This is only half the bikes in here, too. We got so many in the backyard now. We got bikes I haven't even shown you guys yet. I'll be showing you guys here at the end of this video. But we got projects on projects, boys. We need to get a bigger shop going in here. Oh, wow. I don't want to be too hard on it. It still is the first real run on this engine, so... We gotta be somewhat gentle. Dude, I've never rode a Zuma in such skeleton mode like this. 
The tune is on right now. The carb tune is feeling really perfect. I think it's got about all five fives in it right now. Rollers. Last setup I ran on this uh, cylinder on that other bike we built, I ended up with uh, four grams, 4.5s and fives. Oh yeah, someone's gonna be very happy with this engine. We gotta be a little gentle, I'm sorry. But if it's gonna break, I'd rather break on me right now, you know, than send it to someone. Whoever gets this, I want to be able to slap in the bike and rip it, so. We'll do a couple more laps, and then we're gonna do some wheelies on it, but let me, let me break this in a little bit more, and then I'll catch up with you guys. Man, we're not gonna have to tune much on this thing. Obviously, depending on where you live when you get it, but. All right, I can't be too hard on this. Oh man, it's so hard not to. The same exact engine build on that other motor and uh, before Ferry to Ferry, I could not get that thing to tune right. And it's the exact same setup. This one's consistent. That one was like, it was like a carb issue and I've swapped carbs and I don't know what was going on with that other bike. But let me tell you, this one. All right, from a dead stop. My wheels pulling up. Already 30 miles per hour. 35, 40. We're not gonna rev her out too much yet. Going wood, man, but we love when you slap something together and it just works. Excited to be announcing in this video who wins this engine boys the giveaway engine actually rips it felt really really good so i'm very happy with that we just came back to lighten the rollers just a tiny little bit so we had all five five grams in there and i'm going ahead and i got all fives right here so we're gonna throw all fives in it lighten it up just a tiny bit so we'll slap these in real quick and then we'll go try it again all right boys it is time that we go test this bad boy out now with the lighter rollers it's like Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Fire scooter is so damn fun, bro. Let's see, 35. <laughs> We gotta hit it from a dig, of course. We'll hit that like a 15 roll. All right, 15. It's a ripper, boys. It's settled. All right, as you can see, we got, now this is the original motor, and then we have the giveaway engine up here. So the giveaway engine is now broken in. It rips, it runs, it's tuned, and it's ready to be chosen for a winner. So we got this thing pulled out the bike. Real quick, I'm gonna slap this one back in the bike just to make this bike a little bit more mobile to store in the garage, and then uh, we're gonna get to it. We are about to choose the winner of the giveaway engine. We got random.org right here opened up. We got our list of all the orders. So every single item you bought is one entry. So we got everyone's name listed down here. Every time someone bought an item from June 30th until August 31st of 2024, you were automatically entered in to win this giveaway. So thank you guys for supporting the Mop Boys and doing this. I really, really hope we're gonna do this again, bigger and better and keep doing it. I have multiple motors on standby and if people love the motor giveaways, I'll do a couple more motor build giveaways. About to slap the phone up here. We got the camera here. Got everything set up. Let's see who wins this bad boy. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait a second. But uh, we're gonna let this. If if you don't win, blame the website. 
They didn't they didn't select you. It's not my fault. Maybe we can get you to join the live. Alright, let's do it boys. Let me show you real quick. We got uh starting off with Nicholas number one, all the way down to 291 entries. Um uh, Jeremy Mason's last person right here. So we got let me show you guys even closer just to make sure. Right here, random.org. One through two ninety one. We got right here Jeremy Mason with the last entry at two ninety one boys. All right, it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be quick when this thing chooses, man. It's quick. So, <laughs> all right, let's go. Number two. What the fuck? All right, let's see. Conrad Schroyer. Sounds a little foreign. Sounds like homie might be overseas. Yeah, he was on the first day, right away, right when the entry dropped. Dude, oh my god, he's all the way in Germany. A phone case and a t-shirt. Let's see if he has any other orders. Oh, he's got two orders. Yeah, he has four entries total, two different orders. Pin, boom. Yeah, that shipping's gonna be... I don't think bro is in here. Bro is probably sleeping. Like, what time is it in Germany right now? What time is it in Germany? It's 10 a.m. Oh, four, see, I was so wrong. 4, 10 a.m. Yeah, dude, homie's sleep. He doesn't even know he want a motor right now. That's insane. He's going to wake up tomorrow stoked, though. We're going to choose a second winner real quick. This is going to be a t-shirt. Crack this bad boy open. A little, some uh, mixing gas and eating ass right here. And we got some stickers and a keychain. Generate 118. 118. Let's see. We got, we got uh, Dan Dunlop in here. He's homie in the live. All right, bro. That's it. This motor's going off to Germany. We got other motors on standby that I kind of want to do this with because, uh, it was really cool to see everyone pretty interested in this and uh, everyone's pretty hyped on that. So we got a couple horizontal Minarelli cases that I have sitting around. Maybe we'll have to do a horizontal uh, Minarelli build and do kind of a similar situation. All right, boys, we're sending a text to our boys over here overseas because uh, it's going through as a text message. So I don't even think bro has the ability to FaceTime right now, bro. I really wanted to FaceTime this dude. I wanted to get him on the live, but uh, it's four in the morning out in Germany. I'm gonna. I'm, I know it's four in the morning, bro. But I want. I want to see you win this, bro. I'm gonna have to give him a call. I'm gonna have to call him. Does bro even speak English, though? That we're not even sure about. Oh, we ended the call. All right, that is gonna do it for right now. I hope we get Conrad on the phone here in this uh, in this video still. So, thank you guys so much though for entering. That was uh, really cool. This is my first time doing something like this, and I'm so stoked on it. So. Really hope we can do something like this again. Well, I know we can, but it's up to you guys what you guys want to see, so. All right, dude, it's several hours later. It's actually almost two in the morning right now. I have not heard back from Conrad yet. I've reached out via email, phone call, text message, search for the dude on Instagram and couldn't find him. So uh, right now we're paused, but we're gonna get Conrad here on the next video on a phone call or something. It's still just now 10 a.m. It was 4 a.m. earlier, so it's six hours later. Um, we haven't heard back from him yet, so hopefully we hear from him soon. But I want to get this video done and upload it to all the YouTube peeps that have been waiting to see the video and they don't follow the Instagram, they didn't see the drawing, we'll be able to see it on YouTube and see who won the drawing. So maybe Conrad's on there, maybe he's a YouTube subscriber. Congrats to you, Conrad, on winning that engine, and uh, that's going to do it for this one, boys. I'll see you guys in the next video.